Hello, in this episode, I will introduce you our PC software. If you know how to use our PC software, you will know how to make our servos rotate. Okay, look at here. And this is our uh, PC software icon. Just double click the icon and open our software. And this one is reset icon, choose num icon, and reset servo icon. And what are these icons used for? I explain to you one by one. You know, the number zero icon can be dragged freely to make robots like this. You can drag these icons to wherever you like, just like this. And then you will realize it's totally a mess, right? So just click this reset icon button and then all the icons will return to the original position. Okay, and uh, what about this one? choose num button. If you click the choose one choose num button, then all the icons disappear. And select all all the icons appear again. Okay, so why do we have to design like this? I will show you. Actually if you are using a uh, certain servos uh, for example if you are using number five servo you just tick the box number five and then the number five server icon will appear. So it's very convenient for you to operate. And uh, this is the purpose of this icon. Okay. And uh, reset servo icon. You know, you can drag the slider to uh, wherever you like. And have you noticed that? the p-value changes as we, as the slider moves, just like this. So actually, the p-value represents the current position of our servo. And uh, it, the range is that 500 to 2500. And what about b? b-value represents the deviation of our servo. But I will explain to you later what is b, OK? And if you click this button, then all the sliders will return to the middle point. In other words, the p-value will return to 1500. Okay, and look at this box, the number zero box, the number one box, the number two box. If you cancel the tick, then the number two icon disappear. If you tick the box, then the number two icon appear. It's very easy. Um, let's move to the right side of the interface. This one we call the connection indicator. If you are connecting the computer to our control board, maybe our 24 channel server controller, maybe our 32 channel server controller, and then the connection indicator will turn green and indicating the connection is, is successful, you know. And now the indicator is red, so it is disconnected. And the action group, the number of action group is that you can choose a certain number of action group. For example, you choose number seven action group so that you can download the action group you have already edited to this action group. If you select other, you know, if you select 11, number 11 action group, you just click the download button, then the action group will be downloaded to number 11 action group. And a single erase, all erase means that if, for example, if there are 30, um, action, 31 action groups in the servo controller, and that means you have uh, number one action group to number uh, 30 action group, but there's something wrong with the number 30 action group. So you just click this single erase button, then you will uh, erase the actions in the number 30 action group. Yes, and if you click this button, then you will erase all the action groups in the control board. So if you click action group run, for example, you select number seven action group, then click this button, then the control board will run a number seven action group. Just click this button to stop running number seven action group. 
you know, sometimes you really want to design some action groups by yourself. So you have to complete in this part, you know, add action, delete action, update action, insert action. Add action means you can add action in sequence. And delete action is a little bit, uh, you know, special. You have to delete action from the button to the top. Okay, and uh, update action. If you want to update the running time, maybe the p-value of the servo, you just change the value and then click this button. It's okay. And the insert action, you can insert a, a certain action above the selected line and then click the insert action. And then we have action time. You know, action time means the running time of a single servo. If you take the box loop, then the controller will run a certain action group all the time. And I mean, it will loop run maybe number seven action group, maybe number 10 action group. Okay, and you can see open action group, save action group, and series action group. It's very easy for you to operate. Actually, for your better use, our company have already simplified our PC software. So this one is much simpler than the other softwares in the market. Mm, you can design some action groups by yourself. Okay. And next, I will show you exactly how can we make our servo rotate 